Hi, it's Kelly here, and in this video I want to talk to you about the most incredible miracle of my lifetime. Uh, you got to stick around. And uh, it's going to, I mean, it's, it starts off at a very low place, and, and uh, you, you, you're going to love it. i give you some uh, housekeeping. I'm having a reaction to the medication. The, the steroid, the topical cream is going on my leg, and it has caused a symptom like it did the very first time I used it, and now it's come back again because you're only supposed to use it a certain amount of time, and I think that time has been reached. Um, and uh, the leg is was getting better, it was working, and then now it's getting worse. So, but we'll, there, there's other things that we can do to make it go away, you deal with that problem. But in the meantime, it gives me what it feels like. Uh, I don't know if it's asthma or not, but I was wheezing last night and and uh, I cough every so often, sometimes very suddenly. So please forgive me if I cough um, at, because I don't know how to edit stuff and I don't, don't take the energy to do it. Anyway, let's get right into it. Um, you know, we, we hear this, it says in the Bible that we are to pray unceasingly, right? And I think every person that reads that goes, uh, I'm, I'm doomed. There's no way. No way I can do that. Not possible. i got too many things to do. Call me later. Come up with a different plan. You know, because I'll, I'll do what I can. But, you know, this is, this is, not, this is preposterous. I'm going to get right down to it. So, anyway. All right. So, and, and the, the details I'm going to give you... It, I don't want to give them to you, but I think it's so, it's so uh, bad. I mean, it's so important, I should say, that it's important that I tell you what it was because I think it will illustrate for you how you can take anything and make it into miracles and blessings and for them to unfold for you over and over and over again, minute by minute. So, so considering all you know, all the things that's going on, my attitude is great. Everything's wonderful. Life is grand. So, um, so this took place in the bathroom, and I think this has happened to everybody. And I'm going to make this as youth. I'm going to make it euphemistic, of course. But you know, um, I was going to the bathroom, and then I went to clean up, and I got something on my finger. All right. And I mean, nobody, nobody wants that, right? I mean, it's like, uh, you know, and that's the feeling that I started to have. And then it struck me because of the exercise that I mentioned in the previous video that maybe what if God is showing me something? And if God is showing me something, man, oh man, I am grateful because this is a, this, the message he's sending is, is pretty, pretty clear, right? It's like, yeah, I'm, you know, slap, slap. Yeah, I'm getting your attention now. So this is really a biggie. So I, so with that in mind, I thought, well, thank you, God, for giving me this clear message. And, you know, I put my hand on my heart, I think, and I just got into the feeling of what gratitude I had and what love I had for God, have for God and then praised him for it and, and asked for forgiveness for the things that I have done that created the experience that I was having. And um, what started happening almost immediately was that miracle after miracle after miracle, and they were little, little tiny things, things I don't remember now, but I remember them at the time. Uh, one of them was some shampoo that I misplaced. And, and, I, and it was like, well, there it is. Without, look, without having to go from room to room or anything like that. It was right there. When we say, well, that's not really a miracle. But think about it. When you know we get in the shower and we're, we're all wet and we look and the shampoo isn't there, now what do we do? Right? We get out, leave a puddle on the floor, blah, 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 blah. So it's, the significance of it is bigger than what it seems. But there are lots of little things like that occurring, you know, just as minuscule one after the other, after the other, after another, after the other. And so I just, at each time the miracle would occur, uh, 
I would feel grateful about it in my heart to God. So it just kept multiplying and multiplying. And the result of it is is that I was have been needing less sleep than the past. And and despite that, maybe an hour less sleep, some nights I only got four hours, like two nights in a row. And I was functioning just fine. And but more importantly, my ankles, which generally they're unswollen when I get up, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for bearing with me. Um, so my ankles are swollen, and um, within five minutes, you know, they're unswollen when I first wake up, and then within five minutes they they start swelling pretty much, you know, and that hasn't been happening. There's maybe a minor amount of swelling in the one, actually in the left leg. Um, so that's really, really fantastic because that's the body in order to heal needs to have that you know, peripheral uh, circulation going the way it's supposed to. So uh, it's just been miraculous in that regard. And um, also getting people are, are leaving comments. I'm not getting, I didn't get a lot of views on some couple, my last couple of videos, but the comments are so beautiful that people are getting it and so one person getting it and doing it is like a thousand people who watch a video and move on to the next thing maybe a million so I'm really really pleased about that um, so I think there was more stuff but just basically the technique is uh, you should go watch the other video but you, you want to go into your heart and of the most joyful experience of your life, the, mo the happiest one, the, the one you've ever feel the most grateful for. And just feel that without just the feeling, not the circumstance. Bring that forth and thank God for it. And that's how it starts. And after a while, you find that you don't even have to, uh, you don't have to uh, think of the other experience you had. You just start feeling grateful and you feel it right then. Um, oh, this is really critical. I'm going to cough again. I can tell I got scratchy. Let me, let me take a drink of water or a drink of tea here. Um, so, no, I'm going to cough. I think. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, it's like when you're washing a plate, right? And you, t not just, oh, I washed the dishes, I feel grateful about that. It's like you go one swipe, one wipe. And you're just so, you're feeling the gratitude as your hand, you know, the sponge is going over the plate. Because you have a plate, you had food on it. It's all stuff to be grateful for, right there. I mean, the, the evidence based, right? And you have it, you have a sponge, and you got soap, and so it's like all these things, and so it gets down to this, this little level. And the beautiful part about it is, as I mentioned in the beginning about praying unceasingly, is that when you're doing this, you are focused on what you're doing. So you are actually able to become more efficient, more effective in your life, in your, in your physical life, your day-to-day -day life, while you're praying unceasingly. At least that's what's been working for me. And of course, you know, in the last week or so, it's been a couple of days when I was not feeling well and I didn't connect with that. And the miracles went away. And then when I connect with it, they, they come back. So I invite you to try it both ways. See what happens. You know, you might want to watch that other video. I think it was the most recent one or the one before. And uh, let's, let's really help this world. I'd ask you to share this, you know, um, if you feel moved to, please do, um, because you know, we're, it's just I'm just grateful for having this opportunity to share this with you, and um, it mean a lot to me. You take care.